hello guys welcome back to guitar tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix victoria 3 is not launching or you're having black screen or you're having launcher error or you're having freezing black screen low fps drop stuttering then even uh, it is completely getting crushed up and you're having a lot of trouble and how we can fix this up so let's dive into it and as you can see the victoria 3 is right now available and you have to try this ms game so let's go to the workaround so the first one when you're having this trouble all you have to do is if you're on the steam as you can see i'm on the library so if you're on the steam you just have to close the steam okay just close the steam then you just have to uh, wait and just launch once again then go to the library then launch the game sometimes you know if you are launching it for the first time it might take around uh, 10 minutes for me it took around 8 to 6 minutes but here in some other videos from the experts they said it took around 10 to 20 uh, 12 minutes so it might take a little bit of time so you just have to wait very patiently that is what you have to do and move to the next one if it's not working is all about you have to do is you just have to run the launcher installer windows on the game so for that you just have to go over here in the steam you just have to go to the library now select the game right click and go for manage then go for browse local files so this will take you to the where the game is installed as you can see this pc local dc program files 86 steam steam app common victoria 3. now click on the launcher now from here as you can see this is the launcher installer windows so right now what you have to do is just have to right click and you just have to go over and show more options and go for repair this is the first thing what you have to do after repairing you have to launch the game and see whether you are able to fix if it's not working just follow the instruction right click over here once again go for show more options and just go for over here just go for uninstall right you have to uninstall it then just wait after uninstalling just wait okay so you just want to uninstall it so it is getting uninstalled as you can see it is uninstalled right now so just go for click on it once again then what you have to do is you just have to reinstall it back that is what you have to do so just go over here show more options now go over here install so now as you can see they give you the questions you just go for next and go for install so just wait for this to get completed then try to launch the game and it might work and it has worked for many and that's why it is going to work for you also so if it's not working let's move to the next one next one is all about you have to launch the game exe from the installation folder for that i have already opened the installation folder as you can see so once you just open this so i'll close this and i'll show you how to do just click on the victoria 3 right click and go to manage go to browse local files then just go to binaries over here now from here as you can see victoria 3 this is the application so that is the d.exe so just right click then go for show more options sorry let me select this right click you can see run as administrator just run the game as administrator and most probably you will be able to go without any issue on launching the game and even after if it's not working the next is all about you have to uninstall the paradox launcher version uh, two and you just have to uninstall i mean you have to launch the game so you can do this you just have to close this so you can uninstall it and just go back to the steam then try to launch the game and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and moving to the next one is all about you have to install the latest version of version of paradox launcher for that i'll be providing a link in the description which will take you to this so this is pdx launcher as you can see i'll be providing link in the description now you just have to click on this that will take you to this now scroll down now click on windows over here will be getting an option just click over here when you click on this one you will be getting a dot something to install just install it right you just have to install that particular one and once after installing like this as you can see right it is on parallax launcher so just wait for it it's around 97.4 mb that's around 100 so just wait for it just open this once it is done open when done just go for run so uh, it is already been installed so it is getting so i have been uninstalled it but you have like i said you have to remove the older one and install the latest version and if you don't know how to do this i'll go over here in the settings just go to the apps go for apps and feature now from here you just have to search for paradox so as you can see the paradox version 2 is there which is around 91 mb that is we just downloaded it right now i think so you can uninstall it from here itself okay you can uninstall then just download the latest version from this link 
right that is also fine and try to launch the game going back to the steam and that might be working even after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to rename a file that is dbghelp.d2 for that you just have to do is you just have to do is just follow the instruction just go over here in the victoria 3 right click and go for manage and browse local files now from here if you go to the binaries as you can see if you open the binaries here it is as you can see dbg help dot d2 so here as you can see dbg help old dot two here i have changed it already because i'm having the crashing issue so i'll uh, delete it there is no issue so in your case this will be like this dbg help dot d2 just right click on this just rename it okay you just have to rename it just like this go over here and go for rename just give a name for example uh sorry dbg help you just have to go over here just rename it dbg help old or one or whatever it may be. just rename it and once it is done so i'll give the same sorry d b g help old okay so i am done with that one just rename it then after renaming you just have to launch the game and might be working so even after if it's not working then we just move to the next one that is all about you just have to copy and paste a rename a dbg on your game folder for that we just have to do is we just have to close all these things just go over here on the folder now from here go to this pc open local disk c now from here you just have to scroll down and you have to navigate to windows now from here you just have to scroll down and navigate to a folder like uh, a folder this one syswow64 click on this one now from here if you scroll down this will be like in the alphabet so if you scroll down you can find dbg help.d2 so just scroll down a little bit so here we reached around uh, okay so as you can see dbg help.d2 is this so just right click and copy it once you're done with this one just go back to the steam then click on victoria 3 just go to manage browse local files navigate to binaries over here just paste it once you paste it as you can see we are having two gb help old which we renamed it and we are having to just close it just launch the game most probably this will be working if it's not just move to the next one no no, no issues next one is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus for that just go over here so this is the link if you take this it will take you to this so over here as you can see 86 and 64 it depends on it if you are on 64 just download this if you are on 86 download just un download and install it just quite cross simple process and after that try to launch the game going back to the steam that might be working out in my opinion and if it's not we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator as i said earlier it is quite easy you just have to go over here if you're on the folder like this like i said earlier if you're on the uh, gaming folder so from here you just have to go to the launcher so uh, sorry you just have to close this i'll close it because i wanted to show how to do this so go to victoria 3 on the steam if you wanted to run the game as an administrator just go over here right click and go to manage now go to broccoli local files this will take you to where the game is installed as you can see this path so now you just have to go over here on the launcher and as you can see not the launcher just click on the binaries and if you go over here victoria 3 this is a uh, an application that is dot exe so just right click go over here in the show more options sorry just go for show more options and go for run as administrator that will be working good and this is how you can launch the game as an administrator even after trying if it's still not working then we just have to do is we just have to update the graphics card so as you see uh, i'll be providing link in the description for both that is nvidia as you said earlier and the amd nvidia is mine which is i'm using the laptop is on nvidia so you can take you to this and you can update it from here and those who are from the amd just you can do from here so just accept uh, it and now as you can see the product type is geo so you can select if it's not then go for uh, the respective series which one is yours you can select it by default go for nvidia geforce rtx product name you have to give the operating system that is mine is 64 just give the respective one we have a royal options select the language once it is all done just go for over here search and once you are searching it's completely done you just have to download the latest version as you can see the driver version released it tuesday and you will be having the latest version just download and start simultaneously if you are on the amd just go over here select the graphics if it's graphics 
just scroll down and select the respective model from here you have to select and submit and once after that you just have to download and install it and that is what you have to do after you have successfully installed the graphics card manually just go back to the steam and launch the game and you are good to go with that and moving to the next one is all about you just have to do is you just have to verify the game file for that you just have to go over here on the steam just select the victoria 3 like this right click over here then go to properties now from here navigate to local files there is an option verify integrity of game file just click this and this is actually a very important step and many of the users consider this as very simple one but i am suggesting this is very important when you are verifying integrity of game file for any games which is installed on your steam account what happens is if any files are corrupted these will be fixing by default that is why it is very important most probably they'll be getting an update there will be corrupted files so all those things will be completely fixed by this particular step and this is actually a very big fi fix for many of the issues so I suggest this is very important and do not skip this part. This is very important and you just have to verify the integrity of game files. And as you can see, this is successfully done. And once it is done, you just have to launch the game and that might be working. And even after trying, if it's not working, the next is all about you have to disable the Steam overlay. For that, you just have to go over here in the Steam. Now you just have to click on Victoria 3 and go to properties. And if you go over here, as you can see, under general, you can uh, as you can see this has been disabled as you can see the enable the steam overlay is disabled which means it has been done if it is enabled just disable it once after disabling just launch the game and that might be working next is a very basic step that we have to update the windows right sometimes OS will be in the level uh, updating will be a big uh, fix so for that you just have to go over here just search for settings go to windows update just go over here and search as you can see just update it so if i'm updating clicking on restarting right now you know i can't record the video so i'm not skipping this part but in your case you'll be getting download option just download and install it that is what you have to do and you have to update the windows and that is what you have to do and move to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot on your system or pc or laptop for that you just have to go over here you just have to type system configuration like this click on this one now I'll be getting an option like this go to services now from here click on disable all option then go for hide all Microsoft services here uh, it is already there I haven't done this so uh, you just have to disable this one then go for hide all Microsoft services just go for apply and go for ok that is what you have to do and moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so for that you just have to follow the instruction for that I'll show you just go over here you have two options either you can search for graphic settings you can search graphic settings here so if you search for graphic settings it will directly take you to this and if you don't know that just go over here i'll show you the typical way just search for settings click over here now you just have to go to the system go for display now scroll down graphics is there just select this and as you can see I have already added fallout forza horizon 5 etc so you have to add the game for that just click on the browse now from here I'll go over here in this PC I have to find the path so I have to go over here so I'll go to this PC and I'll select users I don't know what where the game is installed so you have to select where the game is installed most probably from here it will be program file 86 now from here I'll scroll down and I'll navigate to uh, I have to find I think program 86 then it will be most probably steam right that is how it has to be worked but here I am not able to see that so uh, somehow whatever it may be or else I'll do one thing uh, I'll just go over here in the game I'll go Victoria 3 go to manage browse local files okay so go to browse local files so it is already there so it is program file is 86 steam so I can just copy this right so I'll copy this now I'll go over here I'll click on browse the, then I'll do this I'll paste the path which I copied right now then I press enter so it is taken to the where the game is installed that is uh, Victoria 3 where the game is installed now from here I have to navigate to binaries now I just have to click this one that is the application.exe add it so right now as you can see the Victoria 3 is here and I have to click on option now set this to not let windows decide set this to high performance and go for save once it is done make sure this is on high performance 
then just close this and close this and try to launch the game and that will be working good even after trying if it's still not working just disconnect all the multiple monitors if it is already connected that is very important you have to disconnect everything multiple monitors multi uh, joystick whatever it may be you are having already connected just uh, completely ex uh, you know uh, eject it launch the game then connect it back it might be working that is what you have to do and if you're on the windows 8 and 7 i just wanted to tell you guys you can't play victoria 3 on windows 7 or windows 8 because the basic system requirement for the victoria 3 is windows 10 or above okay so uh, if you go over here or if you search over here if you scroll down let me take uh, it will be over here so whatever it may be if you search for victoria 3 so i'll search over here victoria uh, victoria 3 i'm opening this so if you scroll down so on the system requirement it is very visible that you can't play the OS should be windows 10 at least with 64 bit so if you're on the windows 7 or 8 i suggest to you guys you have to update it to the windows 7 or windows 8 that is sorry to windows 11 that is what you have to do and the last and the least one after trying all these things if it's still not working you just have to uninstall the game that is very important you have to uninstall the game for example you can manage it from uninstall the game then reinstall it back but it should not be where it is already installed as you can see in my case this is on local disc c right this is on local disc c as you can see this is local disc c so when i'm trying to uninstall and reinstall it back it should not it should not be on local disc c it should be on other drive then launch the game most probably working and these are the basics trouble out what you have to do when you are having the issue with victoria 3 is having freezing issue it is getting crushed up black screen launching error black screen starting issue and many other trouble and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification this is shahin officially signing see you soon in the next video bye